Back against rats. A new law is now in effect that changes the way food businesses in the city get rid of their trash. CBS News' Ania Maldonado tells us how the law is supposed to work and why it has some businesses already concerned. Well, Chris, this is the city's latest effort in its war against rats. Food businesses are now required to put all of their trash into sealed containers. But here along 9th Avenue is the scene that we are coming across throughout the city. As you can see, there are a couple of these containers we mentioned, but they're wide open. They're not secure. It defeats the purpose, right? Because the rats can still get in, get out. Although we do want to mention this is day one. So maybe in a few weeks, we'll hopefully start to see a real difference. A new law in effect today is in efforts to make the city greener and cleaner. Restaurants, grocery stores, delis, bodegas, and caterers must now put all waste into a container with a secure lid. Although Tuesday morning, many city streets still lined with black trash bags. We also saw the Department of Sanitation out and about taking note of certain businesses not falling in line with the law. Frank Gabriel works at Mom's Kitchen and Bar along 9th Ave. All rats go where? Where there's food. He points out containers for trash only help but so much. He gets too much trash, yeah, because we got like five bins and it's still not enough, you know? So sometimes, like, you know, all the garbage man comes, right? Garbage trucks, they take it, but some of the trash gets spilled. Other business owners concerned about the cost. These things cost $100 each. We have to spend extra money that we don't have. The Department of Sanitation says it will issue fines, $50 for the first offense, although the department says it will only issue warnings to businesses until September 1st. Businesses also have to set waste out on the curb one hour before closing or after 8 p.m. This, too, is in efforts to curb the all-you-can-eat buffet for rats. The Department of Sanitation says in the four months since it began enforcing the new time frame, it has issued more than 55,000 warnings for improper setout. Residents we spoke to in Hell's Kitchen this morning tells us they hope the new rules actually make a difference. I hope it works. We have a lot of rats in this neighborhood. It's an attempt, but I feel like one way or another, they're still going to be there. And the Department of Sanitation reports it appears New Yorkers are having fewer interactions with rats, with complaints down 20% this summer. From Hell's Kitchen, Zania Maldonado, CBS 2 News.